Space is providing a new view of our own planet as well in three dimensions and breathtaking detail. This is all part of building solid terrain models, models that reveal a world that just can't be duplicated by a computer model or a flat map. Take a look. Maps which combine pictures of land with models that show the mountains and valleys have been around for a long time in various crude forms. But now the process of making these maps is taking a quantum leap. Through satellite imagery and computer modeling, Lawrence Faulkner and Mark Fisher have created a new form of mapping called three-dimensional terrain models. We work with two sets of, of data. One represents the surface of the uh, topography, sort of a grid of data points, each grid point having an elevation. And the second set is the imagery. The finished product, models that are as beautiful as they are informative. This is Mount Everest, with every corner and crag readily apparent. The Grand Canyon, with its towering walls in sharp relief. And even Afghanistan. This is the first time that Afghanistan has been rendered in real 3D with real satellite imagery on a full 3D model. This is sort of the view that you get when you first take off in an airplane and you look out at your window and you see these rolling hills or, or peaks sticking up out of the clouds. To create these models, the team begins with high-density foam, carving out the general shapes of the land mass in question. Then the hard work begins. The model is taken to a print room where elevation data is used to modify an overlay picture so that it will fit the contours of the model exactly. We take a data file that we use to cut the print, the, uh, the model, and then we use that to actually fly our print heads right over the surface of the model. What makes our product and our process different is that we can actually print in three dimensions where a normal desktop printer that you might use would print flat. A print job this big takes a lot of time. The result, however, is stunning. A model that offers insights into land masses, that lets you see each little turn and rise and flat area and mountain in a way that no flat map can ever afford. We're very lucky to have several of these solid terrain models right here at the National Geographic Society in Washington. If you're in town, please come by and see them. You'll enjoy it.